Hello, Joe here, and I have some good news. Today was Christmas. I got a lot of things. First off, pony swag. Yes. Rainbow Dash hoodie. Very yes. Got some headphones, but they're not the main point. The point here is this beauty. Let's take a look at this. The Korg Electribe SX1 SD. Yes, the ESX1 SD. Put together with my <laughs> micro cork and this little, you know, tiny Behringer mixer. But, anyways, that's not the point. The point is that this thing is freaking awesome. It's complete metal, except for the knobs. Knobs aren't metal, they're plastic. But, yeah. It's all metal, except for knobs and buttons. It uses tubes. And it can act as a sequencer through MIDI for my synthesizer, which is awesome, because now I can finally put this thing to a use. Uh, anyways, so yeah, I'm just learning how to use this thing now. Um, it's a bit complicated. It's actually pretty easy overall. Here, I'll just do what everyone does, and I'll play the demo song. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah, it's really awesome. It has great sounds that come from it, and the tube gain is really clean and powerful. It has all sorts of effects. There's a uh, part common. It has, you know, pitch, pan, envelope time, level, start point. That's for editing the parts. There's modulation. There's filter. There's like 15 effects. Don't don't quote me on that. Um, you can edit pretty much everything and resample and sample through audio in. And there's a little SD slot down here. Um, the deal I got came with these headphones, a 16 gigabyte card. I don't have an adapter for the computer, gonna need to work on that. But yeah, I find really cool about this is that it can, you know, control my synthesizer, which is awesome. Hold on, I need to find something that isn't extremely loud. that little noise in the background but yeah this is controlling my synthesizer oh by the way this is the arpeggiator um, it has a little knob that can be used for different things like right now since it's a keyboard part it's controlling the pitch and the little slider thing you hold it down it controls the gate like here and I move it up the slider and it makes the gate longer until it makes it a complete gate. That little noise in the background, the eh, is some little sample thing that's attached to the keyboard part. I need to learn how to remove it from the keyboard part so I can just play the micro -cork. Now, I could just play from this, but the good thing about this is it lets me sequence notes and stuff. Which is awesome. I'm gonna go play for play with this for a while. Hopefully when I get back I'll know how to use it and use it to make music and stuff. Hopefully in conjunction with the computer. But uh yeah. Bye bye.